again this year. The Bobcats winners last time on the road and trying to get the clean sweep against Southern Utah here today. We've got a great one going to be coming up. Number one versus number two. A very important matchup for the Montana State Bobcats and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Coming up next here on ESPN+. Plus. Southern Utah team averages close to 80 points per game. They're just about the number one offensive producing team in this league. They've been really good offensively. They work around the timeline, not get it down inside to Spurgeon. Spurgeon one-on-one with Bellow, and he goes off glass. It's up and good that time, and it's Southern Utah who cracks first the scoreboard 2-0. Thunderbirds over the Bobcats here out of the get-go. Bellow at the top of the key. He'll take a, he'll take a long-range jumper, and he'll make it. In between the three-pointer and a free-throw line, he hits a long one, and Jabril Bellows not letting off where he was Sunday. A phenomenal game for him. Yeah, he had some intensity in his eyes, and you see that same thing right now. He wants to find a way to get this W. All right, driving down over to the baseline now. Here's a, here's a turn and a spin, looking for somewhere to go with the basketball, and they do find it over to the other block to Fawcett. Fawcett shots off the mark that time, and a rebound for the Bobcats. An opportunity here to take the lead. Tevion Jones, uh, one of the leading scorers on this team as it gets over to Amon Adamu, now back over to Jabril Bello. Bello right at the free throw line. Jeff's left now hits it over to the, Jets right, hits it over to the left, and then it was knocked out of bounds on time as he tried to get it to Patterson. But yeah, Tevion Jones was helped to just three points. He was one of nine from the field. And uh, remember talking to Coach in our postgame afterwards, he said, it, it just doesn't happen. He, I mean, for the most part, has been so, so good this season. And when he, when he doesn't get what he wants the first time around, he typically does the second time. Here's Hamid Adamu with a triple. 5-2, Bobcats in front here with their largest lead of three. Yeah, and those on TV saw the double team come there, so they're sending John Knight the third to double team uh, Jabril in the low post. He finds a wide open Adamu for a wide open three. Here's a corner three launched up halfway in the night. It won't go. Fawcett now missing a couple of back-to-back -back shots, and the Bobcats Trying to take advantage of it. Amon Adamu in transition now. Sidestep shot up, no good. Off the side of the rim that time, and a rebound inside for Southern Utah. Barron with it. They'll go over to the top and back over to the far side tonight. Now at the free throw line, a little jumper from the left elbow is up, no good from Urine. And a couple of back to back missed shots now for Southern Utah. It's just one for four, 25% of the field. They're out of the get go, Xavier Bishop. Dribbling with that left hand over to the left. He'll now clear it over to the top to Amon Adamu. Adamu goes down inside to Abdul and now back over to Amon. Back for three and it won't go. Off the side of the rim that time, it's off. And a 5-2 lead for the Montana State Bobcats. 17-10 left to go in the first half. Here's Ford. Or Jones, that was rather, sorry. Now it's Ford with the back, or Knight with the basketball. They're going around the top, over to the right wing. Here's Jones again, dribbling over to the top. Patterson guarding him tightly. They go down inside and losing the handle. It wasn't quite to Spurgeon, and the Bobcats were able to get the handle. Here's Xavier Bishop quickly now, and it's knocked out of his hands, out of bounds. And it was last off the Montana State Bobcats. It will go to Southern Utah and turn over that time. Yeah, Jabril got stripped there by Moran. He was able to get a hand on it, knock it off Xavier's thigh, and that ball goes out of bounds. So Southern Utah will get possession back. Back over to the Thunderbirds it goes. 16-45 left to go in the first half of the Bobcats in front. 5-2 here at home. A win. Gives him an outright, uh, or gives him a share of a championship for the first time in 20 years. You're driving inside his faucet. Faucet lays it off glass. That time it's good. Goes with the right hand, lays it up and in, and brings it back within one. Well, the Bobcats are looking to move quickly as they get the ball down in a hurry. Here's Ahmed Adamu after giving it to Abdul Muhammad. He's back over to the top. Now back up to Abdul Muhammad. Inside to Bellow. Bellow on the right block. Around his defender and through that time. 7-4, Bobcats now in front. 16.09 to go in this first half. Good pace to this game so far. Here's Fawcett driving inside, lays it off glass again. They go back and forth with him, and he lays it off the front of the rim. Rather, that was Moody who checked in, and Moody laid it off the front of his hand and right through. 7-6, one-point game. Back and forth, these two teams exchanging a couple of shots. They get it to Xavier Bishop. Bishop now driving in, sees the open lane, draws some contact, doesn't get the call, but gets the basket out of it. 9-6 Bobcats. 
15-35 to come in the first half. John Knight bringing the basketball now for Southern Utah. A dribble over to the right side now. Ah, Abadadamu guarding him. Gives it over to the top now to Jones. Jones, long range three, left wing, and it's nowhere near. He missed everything, and it was tipped that time. He wanted a foul onto his arm, too, but the official says, nope, just ball. Xavier Bishop now at the right wing, driving inside, feeds it off to Jabril. They want to flow to the game, and they've done a really nice job so far of letting, letting everybody play and keeping it good. Right, so John Knight bringing the basketball down now for some of Utah after the jump ball. He'll drive in down to the baseline, cutting for two hands and slam it in that time. 9-8, back to a one-point game as Abadadabu is over to the left wing. 14-53 left to go in the first half. Over to the far side to Abdul Muhammad. Now they'll go down inside of Great Asabar, who checked in during that last media timeout. Great has it blocked at the free throw line, but he gets it and gets it over to Abdul Muhammad. Now Xavier Bishop. Bishop driving over to the left wing. Left wing three on the way. Off the side of the mark. It was Xavier who hit the only three-pointer in the Montana State Bobcat game on uh, on that game on Sunday. They got outscored by 30 from three, and this three is off the mark that time for the big foul of Jason Spurgeon. And a rebound coming inside for the Montana State Bobcats now. Xavier Bishop got hit in the eye on that. Now the officials are going to stop it. John Knight was trying to jump it that time. He was trying to jump the ball, and he, his hand got into the eye of Xavier Bishop. And it looks like John Knight, too, he was kind of wiggling his hand like he might have jammed a, a finger or done something himself. So I think both guys got the short end of that deal. Clean play, just, you know, part of basketball, trying yeah. to jump the outlet pass, just didn't get there, and unfortunately, contact. 9-8, one-point game. Raekwon battling into the game for the first time for the Bobcats. One of the few times is the second guy off the bench, Great Asabar, getting those first couple of times. There's Patterson now off the screen, right wing three. Oh, halfway in the night, it will not go. Three-point woes continue here for the Montana State Bobcats. John Knight quickly down the court, now dishes over to the right wing. Right wing, Moody driving inside from the elbow, throws up a jumper, no good. Great Asimar gets the rebound. And Xavier Bishop now driving over to the left edge. And he'll give it up over to the top to Great Asimar. We'll give it over to Raekwon Battle. Raekwon. Has it stolen away that time. Pickpocketed by John Knight. John, John Knight trying to go the other way. He's blocked that time, but blocked into his hands. Now they go over to Moody. Moody left wing three off the front of the mark. And this is a Southern Utah team that's struggling to hit those three. They're 0 for 4 right now from three. They're a dangerous team, but they're hitting. They can put up close to 100. They've done it a couple of times in the big sky. Here's Raekwon, right wing. Dribbling over to the top now to Xavier Bishop. Bishop driving inside, lets the floater go from four foot. Bouncing around and bouncing through for Xavier Bishop. On to double figures go the Bobcats, 11-8. They lit it right now by three. Yeah, and how many games you get seven minutes in, there are zero team I'm fouls <laughs> in the game. Both teams playing hard and competing well, and the officials letting them go. It's good basketball here in Bozeman. Driving inside now, Moody goes up and lays it off the side of the rim. And through, 11 to 10, one point game. Raekwon in transition, looked like he won of the three, cuts it down over to the baseline, and there's a blocking foul. You jinxed us. The first foul of the game comes seven minutes in. Take it. Anytime you can get seven minutes into a basketball game with one foul, it's darn near a miracle in today's college basketball. So credit these three as they've they've let the guys play. It's great. Yeah, especially when uh, we saw that game on Sunday. That's all. Uh, a foul fest. A whole bunch of them. Both teams had more than 10 fouls in the first and second half. On to the free throw line. First one's up and it's good. That time for Raekwon Battle. Nick Gazalis is in. Tyler Patterson's out. And Jabril Bello goes in for the Montana State Bobcats. Back into the game then goes number four, Dre Murin. And number 15, Harrison Butler checks in for Southern Utah. 1242 remains in this first half. 12-10. Montana State in front by two. Raekwon's free throw up and good. And the Bobcats now 13-10 in front by a full possession. Between the legs a couple of times here from Muren. Muren to the top, dribbling over to the right. Now hands it off over to Moody. Moody driving in, loses the handle that time. Out of bounds, and it will stay with Southern Utah. They say last touch by the Bobcats as it jetted out of the hand. And now the official, yep, he'll keep it with Southern Utah. And good officiating checked with his partner here right in front of us. Did you see anything different? Nope. All right. Let's keep it here. Bobcat fans saw it different. 
as this one's inbounded. Another displeasure. Jason Spurgeon one on one here with Jabril Bello, and he goes off the side of the rim and it rolls through. Will not go. Great Asabar with the rebound down inside. He outlets it to Xavier Bishop. Bishop now going down inside over the head. That time with Jabril Bello goes over his head. And now Southern Utah transition over to the right wing. Jones hasn't been able to get going against the Bobcats last couple of times. Now he'll try. Right wing three on the way. No good. Off the mark. He was one for nine in the game a week and a half ago, and Jones finds himself 0 for two out of the get-go here from Bozeman, Montana. There's Raekwon Battle off the mark and off the rim. Outlet quickly down the court, and Jones goes to action. Xavier Bishop now with the basketball. Near the top, it was de uh, determined that Southern Utah did not save that basketball down to the baseline. That's what Jones was saying he had done. Here's Jabril Bello over to Nick Gazelis in the far side corner. Now Great Asabar back at his way and turn to the corner left. Now back over to the right. He goes up. He's fouled. And he'll go to the free throw line. This foul coming against number 15, Harrison Butler. His first team second. We saw this on Sunday, this kind of, this big lineup. Four and five with Great Asabar, Jabril Bello. That's kind of when the run started and the Bobcats were able to get back into the game against Montana in that contest. I mean, it looks as if Coach Danny Sprinkle trying this again as the first free throw won't go. Yeah, he likes this lineup. I mean, the one thing this lineup does is you can get either guy in the low post, either guy can play on the perimeter and move the ball, set ball screens and play off that. Uh, additionally, you can't get much better rebounding lineup than those two guys on the floor at the same time. And the free throw up and good, and that makes it a two-possession ball game for the first time in this game. 14-10, Montana State in front. With 11 18 to go in the first half. Is John Knight backing his way over to the right block. has got nothing going, and we'll clear it back over to the top now to Muren. Here, far side, driving inside. Nowhere to go for Butler. Butler now will turn the corner, go up, and it bounces around, but will not go. The rebound coming inside now for the Montana State Bobcats. Here's Xavier Bishop getting a screen from Great Asabar. Kicks it over to Nick Gazelis on the right wing. Now down inside to Great Asabar again. Great Asabar back his way in front of the hoop. Left-handed layup. God, at that time, he lays it off his hand and lays it through. And the Bobcats in front, 16 to 10 now. This Southern Utah team, we talked about it. They never, they're one of the best shooting teams in the league. They average close to 80 points. They're on yet again another two-minute scoring drought. They're just one for their last seven the last couple of times down the court now for the Thunderbirds. Driving down over to the baseline. Great defense coming out of Nick Gazelis, and the shot would not go. Rebound for Jabril Bello. That was an emphasis for Coach Daly Sprinkle in practice. We've got to be better defensively. We've seen it out of the get-go here. Yeah, no question right now. They're holding Southern Utah 31% from the field. Here's Bello. Has it blocked from behind and loses the handle that time. Out of bounds, and it will say with Southern Utah. Last touch by Great Asabar that time to knock it out. Now, Great's had a really nice start here. Three points, four defensive rebounds already. Should have had an assist right there if Bello doesn't have that ball tipped as he's going in to finish. Really nice start for the freshman. So Utah with the basketball at the top of the key now. He'll dribble over to the right side. Jay Marin. Marin. Come to the free throw line. We'll teach you that. Here's the spin. Knight now with the athletic move down to the baseline and going up and getting the whistle. It's Jason Spurgeon to the free throw line will go Southern Utah for the first time today. First foul coming against Raekwon Battle, his first team's first. Nice penetration there by John Knight. He creates the opportunity, a really sweet little dump off to his big fella there, Spurgeon, and Spurgeon's able to get himself to the free throw line. You can see his athleticism. Coach Stanley Sprinkle said in our pregame interview, he said that's the most athletic guy in this league. There's no question as that free throw is up and good for Spurgeon. And uh, there's no question there, you kind of saw it. Here comes Jones back into the game after that collision. And if you look at his left hand, he does have it wrapped up. He's been holding that left hand a little bit. That's something we'll keep an eye on. As that free throw will not go, and the rebound coming inside for Great Asabar. Xavier Bishop getting a little bit of pressure coming this time from Dream Aaron. Dribbling over to the right is Xavier Bishop. Down into the corner to Nick Gazelis. Gazelis will let it fire off the side of the rim and the three-pointer will not go. Trying to save it down to the baseline and this one will be saved into the hands of Southern Utah. They're going the other way with it now. Southern Utah, John Knight close to the hoop, won't go. But the finish through that time, Jason Spurgeon there to help his teammate out. Gets the rebound and puts it through. Hey. 
And they're going to fix the shot clock as the shot clock start a little bit too early. 28 seconds put on the shot clock. Abdul Muhammad and Amin Adamu will check into the ball game. 903 remains in the first half, 16 to 13. So far, the Bobcat defense coming through. We, we talked about it a couple of times, but just 13 points for the T-Birds. It's got to be about where Coach Taylor Sprinkle would hope that the Thunderbirds would be. Yeah, and I think for Montana State, that field goal defensive percentage is huge. Keeping them off the glass, they've done a great job keeping them off the offensive glass as well. So far, pretty good feel for Montana State on that end. Abdul Muhammad shot will not go. And the rebound coming for John Knight. Knight quickly pushing it in a hurry. Right wing, transition three, good. And this team can score in a hurry. Dre Muren in transition gets it. And gets three to tie this game up. 16-16 here with 8.25 left to go in the first half. And a 6-0 run in under a minute for Southern Utah gets him right back even as they are explosive. Tell you what, when they want to run and when they want to get down the court in a hurry, they're as fun as any team to watch in this league. They can move the basketball in a hurry as the shot's blocked and would not go for Grant Asabar. Rebound coming inside for Southern Utah. And a turnover that time as it's off the hands. Look at Jones. He's still holding that hand. He's not nowhere close to 100%. He's kind of holding that hand, and that's one that I think he maybe would have been able to get his hand on before, but with that injury, he's not as... And he's good with those uh, two hands as he was. 16-16, we're all tied up with 8.04 to go in the first half. Yeah, a lot of subs here, too. There's been a great pace to this game. You've only had three whistles that have stopped at three fouls in 12 minutes. And, and that pace now, you see some of the starters are a little bit winded, hands on hips. So both coaches go to the bench and bring in some reserve players. So some guys have some opportunities. All right, so Southern Utah get back on their man-to-man -man defense. Abdul Muhammad. Gives it to Nick Gazelas and around the timeline. Amon Adamu back to the top to Xavier Bishop. Down to 10 seconds to shoot. Xavier Bishop gets the screen from Sam Lekalot. Now a jumper in front of the three point line. Good. Two points for Xavier Bishop, and Xavier's got himself a team leading six. 18 16 Montana State in front with 7 28 left to go in this first half. John Knight setting up the offense this time at the left wing. Gives it over to Jones. Down further on that left wing. They'll go down inside now to Spurgeon. Sam Lackalot playing some good defense on him. Spins left, turns over to the right. Bottom of the rim. He gets that time of the official. More like looking in the 50s and 60s at the pace we're at currently. All right, seven seconds to get a shot off. Here's the inbound on the baseline for Southern Utah. Knight now with the basketball down to three seconds. Jumper from 15 foot will not go. He gets his own rebound down inside. Now kicks it over to the right wing. Right wing threes up and good. That time for Harrison Butler. Knight just being elusive. Gets himself in there and gets himself the lead. 19-18. Southern Utah in front. And Knight's grimacing a little bit. Looks like he might have pulled his hamstring. Oh, and the baseline feed and the slam. Come on, that's him out of Abdul Muhammad. And yeah, there's a definite limp right now and a grimace on the face of John Knight. 20 to 19. Montana State marches back in front. Here with 6.32 left to go with the first half. Knight here at the top will feed it over to Jones. Now back over to Knight at the top of the key. Knight dribbling over to the right side, feeds it over to the other side, and a whistle coming against the Bobcats as they got it down inside to Fawcett. This one's coming against number five, Amin Adamu, and Adamu picks up his first, the team's just second. As Tyler Patterson and Raekwon Battle come in for the Bobcats, and Dre Murin checks back into the lineup as John Knight, kind of holding that leg a little bit, will make his way off the court. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he meets up with the trainer or if it's just Something he's been, he might have been an injury he's been playing with a little bit, but he just tweaked it a little more. Yeah, the way coach Todd Simon didn't really play into it much tends to make me think that might be something that he's been playing through the last couple of weeks. As Xavier Bishop will drive in, close to the hoop, little reverse layup, will not go. Rebound going the way of Southern Utah. Knocked out of bounds by the Bobcats. Jabril Bello checks into the game now. Bello checks in, and immediately Southern Utah brings Jason Spurgeon back into the game. They want to match up Spurgeon and Bello, and Bello, the old Big Sky selection from a season ago, has got the attention of just about every coach in this league. Bobcats doing the job defensively right now, holding Southern Utah under 40% from the field. They still haven't been able to find their rhythm from the three-point line. And a flop coming against Abdulma. 
against Abdul Muhammad. Yeah, Abdul Muhammad's going to be called for a flop that time. He was trying to get the offensive charge down to the baseline against Mason Fawcett. Now, the ball did go out of bounds, and it will still stay with Montana State, but that's the first flop coming against Abdul. Yeah, and Todd Simon's looking for the, the flop caused the, the turnover there. And the officials say, nah, the turnover was, there was no contact for it to cause the turnover. It was just a flop. So probably a good call. Bobcat ball. 2019, Montana State in front by one. Here with 539 left to go with the first half. Here's Xavier Bishop at the right wing. Now back over to the top to Raekwon Battle. Goes down inside to Bellow. Bellow with the right block. Jabril Bellow back at his way into the center of the hoop. Shot up, hook shot, will not go. Fighting for the rebound, and that's going to be a foul coming against Raekwon Battle. He went over the back that time trying to get the rebound. Second personal team third, and the ball going to Southern Utah now. Into the game goes Amal Damu. The jump up and kind of the weird come down had Raekwon Battle kind of limping a little bit on that right leg. So Coach Stanley Sprinkle going to the bench there. 20 to 19. Montana State up by one. 520 left to go with the first half. What's been a great ball game. Number one versus number two in this league. Here's the drive over to the right side. Now the kick down over to the baseline for Annie Moody. And Moody goes up, will not go. Out of bounds and will go back over to the Montana State Bobcats. Boy, both these teams just guarding and putting everything on the line. Even on a contested layup like that, Moody's got a pretty good look. Ain't unable to finish, but Spurgeon's there to keep the ball alive for his team. Fortunately for the guys in white, it goes out of bounds, and they'll take possession. Montana State right now in front, 20 to 19. Over Southern Utah is Xavier Bishop driving over to the right, getting the screen from Jabril Bella, lets a flutter go from the elbow. Nothing but the bottom of the net that time coming for Xavier Bishop and the Bobcats in front by three. 14.45 left to go with his first half. Here's John Knight. We check back into the game after kind of holding that shoulder. And a, here's the foul coming. Offensive foul coming against number 12, Mason Fawcett. He's second, the team's third. The Bobcats were trying to get that the last time down the court. And this time they will get the shoulder into Xavier Bishop. Yeah, that time Xavier Bishop took took the charge like you got to take it center of the chest. He's well outside the restricted area. Any big guy going into a little guy like that's going to lose when the official takes a look at it. And good play by Xavier Bishop. Xavier Bishop getting guarded heavily this time by Dre Aaron, who's done a good job of trying to keep him quiet after an early eight points coming for Xavier Bishop. Here's Bishop on the left wing, feeds it down inside to Bellow. Bellow now from the left elbow, eight seconds to shoot, dribbling over to the right wing, count the basket. Jabril Bellow to the free throw line for yet another. One of the things we talked about on Sunday for Montana State was there was no runs. Biggest run of the game was a 6-0 run. Really haven't done it. Tonight, they just got their first 6-0 run to take this five-point lead. Bellow had a chance to push it to seven. Southern Utah's had one 6-0 run as well, but been very back and forth, very even played game. It's another two minute, 48 second scoring drought for Southern Utah. They've had a couple of those two minute scoring droughts. Bellow now with a couple of dribbles, 4.15 to go in the first half, but the free throws up and good. And that extends it to a six point lead for the Bobcats, their largest lead of today's contest, 25 to 19. With 4-10 left to go for the first half of the Bobcat defense showing its might early on here from Bozeman. Here's John Knight dribbling over to the top of the key, crossing over a couple of times. Getting a hand on it was Abdul Muhammad with back into the hands of John Knight. Dribbling over to the right wing. Knight now spins over to the right, cuts it over to the other block. Here's Spurgeon on the baseline. And a three-second 51 left to go for the first half. Abdul Muhammad will kick over to the right wing on Tom and Adamu. Full court pressure coming out of Southern Utah here. Now it will back off a bit. And so then Utah gone small here. They've got Tivian Jones at the four spot with Spurgeon and three guards. So it's about as small lineup as they can get to. Cut it over to the baseline, and Xavier Bishop finds the glass. 27 to 19. The Bobcats stretching their lead to eight with 325 left to go in the first half. Here's Knight, over to the right wing now to Jones, back over to the top to, J to Knight. Knight dribbling inside, goes over the left, block that time. And the league leader in blocks, Jabril Bello. Here's Xavier Bishop, transition three. Oh, halfway into the out. This place was ready to explode, as that one will not go. 
Other side now, a couple of dribbles down for Harrison Butler. Butler back at his way over to the hoop, continuing back at his way over to the right side, goes off glass, off the side of the rim, and it won't go. Rebound inside for Abdul Muhammad to the Bobcats. Neck and neck in that rebounding category. 16 rebounds for the Bobcats, 15 rebounds on the other side for Southern Utah. Hasn't scored in the last four and a half minutes. Is Southern Utah. And a whistle coming down to the baseline on a foul. I think Jones was trying to foul right there. I, I'm wondering if he's trying to get out of the game. Not sure he can really go and be effective with that wrist after colliding on the baseline. That's I think Jones' first team's fifth. Yeah, I think he intentionally fouled. I think he knew he needed to get out. All right, well, end of the game for him is going to be Moody. It's a big loss. And again, Jones, who's not 100% here tonight after running on the baseline, running into a camera operator. And 15.2 points per game he averages. Here's Tyler Patterson with the right wing. Dishes over to Jabril Bello down to the baseline. Ten seconds to shoot. Bello dribbling into the center of the lane. Backs his way over to the right. Now spins over to the left. Lets it off the side of his hand. And it goes off the side of the rim. It will not go. Eight-point lead right now for the Bobcats. Here's Moody. Cutting over to the left. This one stolen away. Tyler Patterson takes it. That's the sixth turnover of this game for Southern Utah to even up that category. Abdul Muhammad will dish over to the far side corner now to Ahmed Adamu. Now it's Xavier Bishop at the top. Two minutes left to go in the first half. From the free throw line, the jumper up off the front of the rim, but it won't go for Xavier Bishop. Out of bounds, though, and it will stay with the Bobcats. Great play by Xavier Bishop there. Spurgeon's trying to gather the rebound. Bishop just gets a fingertip on it, knocks it loose. Spurgeon bounces them all on the baseline there, and it'll be... Bobcat basketball staying, staying going. Great Asabar in. Jabril Bella will go out. Looking for somewhere to go with this basketball. They'll go to Alvin Adamu. The inbound. Up and in. Two points for him. And the Bobcats have stretched it to double figures. A 10-point lead for Montana State. 29-19. And the Bobcats trying to get this crowd on a Tuesday night at Big Sky Country into it. Here's Jones now dishing over to the far side corner. Driving down to the baseline, Marin. Marin loses the handle, but gets it himself. Down to 10 seconds to shoot. Ninth down at the free throw line. Spins to the center of the lane. Dishes over to the right wing. Down into the corner. Three seconds to go. Offensive foul coming this time against Harrison Butler. Butler will get his second. The team will get their sixth. He turned and put his right shoulder right in the heart of them. And will send it the other way. Southern Utah now has... Uh has really struggled. The Bobcats on an 11-0 run. They've got Southern Utah six turnovers in their last seven minutes. They haven't scored for six minutes. It is all Bobcats here in this stretch. Is that Southern Utah led 19-18. It is now a 10-point Bobcat lead with a minute 23 to play. Yeah, Coach Todd Simon recognizing that and going to his bench. Number 13, D. Barnes, and number zero. Amon Anderson checking into the ball game for the first time this afternoon with a minute 14 left to go in the first half. Ten-point lead for the Bobcats with the basketball. Thumb bound it. Oh, off the side of the glass that time out of bounds. Xavier Bishop was trying to get it down over to the baseline to Amon Adamu, and it went out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like Adamu was coming off a back screen there, and he hesitated, didn't finish his cut. Bishop anticipated the cut. Looked like the ball was right on point. It was going to be a catch-and-shoot layup, but Bishop had stopped, so turnover Bobcats. One minute left to go until halftime. 29 to 19. Bobcats in front. Here's Knight going back left, left to right, now kicking over to the right wing. Brown with the right wing three. No good. Way off the mark that time and a rebound inside for the Bobcats. Montana State. Able to get past half court, and he'll take a timeout. Coach Danny Sprinkle will use his use it as a clinic defensively right now for Montana State. Uh, Bobcat, Bobcat ball taking it on the sideline and bounding it over to the top to Xavier Bishop now. Over to Great Asabar. The Bobcats could take this down to 17 seconds. There's the feed and the find. Ivan Adamu down on the baseline. It's the exact same play they ran last possession when Bishop threw it out of bounds. They just ran it to the other side of the team. Montana State right now with a 12-point lead and down to the baseline or the sideline, the inbound. Up over to the top. Knight will take a couple of dribbles and let this clock wear off a little bit. His team has not scored in over now six minutes and 55 seconds. Clock continues to run, and that's now a seven-minute scoring drop. 
coming out of Montana State. Here's John Knight dribbling over to the right, down to five seconds. Turn, spins down to the baseline, and a foul coming. Foul coming against the Bobcats down to the baseline. This foul coming against Abdul Muhammad, and that's Abdul's first and the team's fourth. So combined, we have 10 fouls in this first half. It's officials letting them play, for the most part, onto the free throw line will go John Knight to try to stop over a seven minute scoring drought. His first free throw is up and good. He does just that, pulls it back within an 11 point ball game. Sam Blackalot, Naman Adamu both will check into the game now for Montana State. is 14 he's got just three and he misses the second free throw one second half court heave on the way too high off the mark that time problem two possession game that underway we'll start with the montana state bobcats here's xavier bishop at the left wing dribbling with that left hand a little bit over to the left to the left elbow and that's Jabril Bello trying to get down inside of the baseline loses the handle and then we'll go back over to Southern Utah and that was a big emphasis too there were 11 turnovers in the first half of that game on Sunday the Bobcats with six turnovers here today and this is one that gets knocked out of the hands of Jabril Bello yeah nice play by John Knight again he's just such a good player in this league there's a reason he was Oh, and a whistle coming up the other side against the Bobcat side of the get go. Montana State's Jabril Fellow will go ahead and pick up his first. But, but John Knight was Big Sky Player of the Week last week. He's obviously one of the best players in the league. Preseason votes for Player of the Year. He's just a fantastic athlete, fantastic player. Shows the type of team this Southern Utah group has as this one's just about stolen out of the hands. Now Knight as it goes off his foot. Off his foot, out of bounds, and it will go back over to the Montana State Bobcats. Southern Utah has been recognized four times by the conference for Player of the Week, but it's been three separate guys. They've got so many different weapons who have shown up in different games, and obviously with Jones's hand injury, he does not start in his second half, and uh, that's definitely been a big factor of it. They're going to need someone to step up in a big way as he averages 15. Whistle on the other side that time as Tyler Patterson goes up for the shot. This one's coming on number four on the other side uh, that will be uh, Marin's first. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen Coach Sprinkle try and post up Tyler Patterson this year. Kind of a, a little wrinkle coming out in the second half. Go inside to your catch and shoot guy. Give him a look in the post. He's able to draw the foul. One of the best things a shooter can do is get to the free throw line, see a couple go through the net, and all of a sudden that basket starts to feel a little bit bigger. Free throw is up and good. Come at that time for Tyler Patterson. The Bobcats extending it to 12. The second one's good as well. That makes it 13. And that makes it the largest lead of today's contest. The Bobcats went by 12 at one point of the first half. They're up by 13 now. They're a minute into the second half. Knight goes soaring to that right hand, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Southern Utah will go back over to the Montana State Bobcats. Boy, he jumped up at the right elbow and landed right next to the rim. Yeah, it's a tremendous play by, by John Knight again, as, as we've said multiple times. One of, if not the best athlete in the conference. And it's Xavier Bishop giving it over to the top to Abdul Muhammad. Abdul Muhammad cuts it down over to the baseline down to Jabril Bello. Bello down to the baseline, turns, spins, got nothing going. He'll kick it, three-pointer, off the rim, and it won't go. But the finish, Amin Adamu takes the shot from Xavier Bishop and puts it in with the right-handed layup, 35 to 20. The Bobcats still rolling here into half number two. There's a jumper for the right wing, will not go. This Southern Utah team hasn't hit a jumper in over nine minutes now, going from the last half into this half as Xavier Bishop is dribbling down to the baseline. Around again he goes, circles around the lane. And back up top now to get a reset. It's a high screen, does Bishop just about loses the handle, fight for the ball down to the court, trying to get a timeout in time, but a jump ball instead will send the basketball back over to Southern Utah. A lot of conversation as of whether or not a timeout was called there. But Xavier Bishop just kind of dribbled that one, I think, off his foot. Good hustle play by both guys. Southern Utah with a chance to cut in this lead. 
kick it over to the right wing. Will Southern Utah trying to get a jumper to go again. They were just 28% for the field here with Southern Utah. Here's Knight with a left wing three. Better watch out because he can shoot the ball. That three-pointer good. He's now, uh, that's his first three-pointer. He's one for one for three, taking a majority of the jumpers from inside. He leads his team with just six. And need that leading score to get themselves out there somewhere. It's a 12-point lead right now for the Popcats. Abdul Muhammad. 17-16 to go in the second half with the basketball inside to Bellow. Bellow into the paint. Now will jump through a couple of defenders. Here's Amina Damu. Front of the rim, back of the rim, it's off. Got a rebound for Southern Utah. Got a lot of work to do to Southern Utah. Down by 12. Here's the open lane and the block. And count it. It's going to be a goaltend coming against Jabril Bellow that time. Ball was on its way down, says the official. It was really, really, really close, ooh, that ooh, replay ooh, says, but wow. it ain't changing. Usually a, a guy like that who leads the league in blocks gets a little bit of benefit of the doubt, but not this time. Second game in a row, Bobcats have had a close goaltending call go against them. 35-25, and the Bobcats up 10, make it 12. The feed coming that time for Abu Dabu. He finds up to Muhammad's baseline cut. 37-25, a 12-point lead for the Bobcats. 16-30 to go in this second half. Here's Southern Utah. Moody with the basketball, coming on the baseline. Jumper from five foot's good. Now that jumper will go. Pulls it within 10. 37-27, the Bobcats up 10 with 16-16 to go in this second half. Southern Utah, after going 10 minutes without a field goal, has made three in a row giving themselves kind of a little bit of offensive rhythm, offensive momentum. This whistle coming against number four that time, Dre Murin. He'll pick up his second this half, his se the team second. Rick one battle off the bench will check in for Tyler Patterson, who will take a seat. Here's the inbound to Adamu, back over to the top. Adamu driving inside over to the left block. Let's it go too hard off class that time of the clear. Coming down inside that time for Spurgeon. Here at the top is John Knight. Knight will give it back over to Spurgeon. Got a whistle coming, a kick that time. It will keep it with Southern Utah. 15 4 Southern Utah gets hot. They're three for their last three, and they can score a whole bunch in a hurry. Without question. All right, here's the inbound over to the right wing. That's uh, Moody. Moody cuts it over to Knight. Knight to the right wing. Already hit a three-pointer just a couple of shots ago. We'll post it up down inside and lay it off glass. The fadeaway jumper is good for Knight. Well, thanks it now back to, uh, takes it from a double-digit lead down to eight. 37 to 29. Bobcats in front. So Xavier Bishop will feed it down inside to Raekwon Battle. Raekwon Battle posting up down to the right block off the front of the rim and it will not go. And there's no question, Raekwon and Tyler have both been posting up kind of inside as this shot will not go out of bounds and it will go back over to the Bobcats. That's kind of a game plan that looks like take kind of the smaller, a smaller Murin and, and take them down inside. Yeah, it is. And it's kind of part of what's happening in the sets. Southern Utah doing a great job of denying a ball reversal through the four, and that forces it to stay strong side, and that's led to those two feeds. It's just a counter when the defense takes away a certain part of that set. Over to Raekwon Battle. Here's Raekwon at the top. Feeds it down inside to Abdul Muhammad, and Abdul on the right wing will be called with an offensive foul. It's a late one, and it's coming against Abdul to go the other way. He's second of the team second. We got a replay right here. What do you think? Yeah, I, th I thought the official was actually going to call flop. I thought he was going to stop it. There's a little more contact on that replay than I thought there might have been. And it kind of looked like I didn't Abdul's see the, arm yeah. kind of extends, and that's, that's probably what the official saw. That's what I was going to say. From our angle and where Coach Stanley Sprinkle was saying, I didn't see the arm extend until the replay came. You know, over to the top, dribbling is number one, Nick Fleming. Fleming checked into this game. Running point a little bit, trying to get Knight going. Here's a left wing three, and he's fouled. He's fouled that time. Number 12, Mason Fawcett. And this one's coming against Abdul. He's now got his third, and the team's got their third. Yeah, and the Bobcat defense isn't what it was in the first half right now. A little bit of a lull. Southern Utah, even though this half, they're, they're shooting four for seven, which is 
but they're getting they're getting the stops defensively they forced four bobcat turnovers already in the second half and they're holding montana state in the second half to just 33 percent from the field free throws up and good that time for Fawcett. sam black lap will come in abduma nope He's got three, so he's got to wait one here. He was behind the arc. It's three free throws coming in. This is a seven-point game right now. Montana State led by as many as 13 in the second half. Marching right back in order here is Southern Utah, and that next one's good as well. Brings it within six as Sam Lecklap will check into the ball game. A 6-0 run here for Southern Utah as the Bobcats haven't scored in two minutes. Free throw, good. That time coming from Mason Fawcett. A little full court pressure coming from Mar Marin. Marin will guard Xavier Bishop. He's got no problem getting it past half court. Gets it to Jabril Bell again over to the baseline. Right one battle off glass. It's good. 39 32. Seven point lead for the Montana State Bobcats now with 14 15 to go in the second half. They cut down over to the baseline. Now the feet around the timeline over to the top to Knight. Knight will reset it. The point guard gets it over to Marin on the left wing. Marin being guarded by Xavier Bishop and a whistle coming. A foul coming against Xavier Bishop, his first and the team's fourth. The Bobcats had four total fouls of the entire first half, and they have now four fouls in three minutes and 55 seconds of this second half as Great Asimov will check into the ball game. Inbound over to the top now, dribbling off over to the right is Marin. Marin lets it fly over to the other block. He goes to Fawcett. Fawcett goes up, no good. Rebounding side for Sam Lackalon. And the Bobcats going the other way. Bobcats have added a little bit to that rebounding category. They're plus five in that category now. 24 to 19 out rebounding Southern Utah after having it tied a little bit there in the first half. Zabal Adamu clears it back over to the back now to Xavier Bishop. 10 seconds to shoot. Xavier drives in, gets the foul call. And he'll go to the free throw line now. Whistle coming against Southern Utah. This one's on number 12, Mason Fawcett. He's third of the team's third. That's so tough to guard if you're a big guy. You get stuck one on one on the perimeter against one of the quicker guards in the league, and you've got to keep him out of the paint. And Xavier Bishop does a really nice job of finding the body contact before he shoots to draw the foul and get himself to where he could score at the free throw line. And it's Moody and Fawcett into the ball game now for Southern Utah. So free throw is good, and that extends it back to an eight-point lead. 40 to 32, Bobcats in front. Second one of the way, good. Up nine down. Quick 4-0 by Montana State to respond to the 7-0 run by Southern Utah. Here's Fleming dribbling over to the right. Now that's a handoff over to Moody. Back over to Fleming. Now Knight to the corner. Knight for three. Halfway into the night. It will not go that time. Knight starting to get a little hot there. He had a couple of back-to-back -back jumpers, and he's got eight. But now Southern Utah without a, without a field goal in the last two and a half minutes. Here's Xavier Bishop with a nine-point lead to the basketball. Great Asabar feeds it too far over the hand that time of Sam Alakalot. That will be a turnover of Bobcats. So we'll take them number 11. Into the ball game checks number four, Murin. Boy, and as good as great as played, he had a wide open man right there. Just a little too much, too much mustard on that hot dog. He needed to just soften up that pass, and that's a bucket. All right, John Knight going the other way. 12.55 to go in the second half, and it's a nine-point lead for the Montana State Bobcats. Here's Knight trying to get close to the hoop over to the right wing, being guarded by Raekwon Battle. Right wing three, up and good. Right through for Dre Murin. Murin goes ahead and gets his second three-pointer and brings this game back within six. Definitely been much more effective from three here in the second half. Southern Utah in that first half was two for eight. In the second half, they're two for four. So this one down to the baseline, out of bounds, and it will go back over to Southern Utah. Bellows in as Sam Blackmap will check out. Tough play there. Great offensive rebound by Osabar, just unable to get that back up and finish the deflection. Then he tracks down the loose ball, but he's out of bounds, and 
So then Utah with a chance to get this down under, potentially even to a one possession game. And John Knight at the top, making him use that left hand as Raekwon Battle. Here's a left wing three, pure. And Dre Murin is getting hot. He has brought this back within three. 41-38, Bobcats up three. There's 12.07 to go in the second half, and a 13 point half, or 13 point lead to the second half is diminished down to three. Here's Amin Adamu, right wing three, trying to answer, won't go, and the rebound coming for Southern Utah. They're in the middle of a 6-0 run in 32 seconds, trying to add to it. Here's John Knight to the free throw line, getting in close to the hoop, fadeaway jumper, left elbow up, good. And it's a one point game from Bozeman. 41-40, this Southern Utah team can score in a hurry. They're on an 8-0 run right now. There's 11.38 to go in the second half. Yeah, 20 to 10 in the second half. So Southern Utah gets 20 points in eight and a half minutes. And in the first half, they got 20 points in 20 minutes. Great Asabar over to the far side corner to Amit Adamu. Adamu back over to the top. 10 seconds left on that shot clock. 11.20 to go in the first half. Here's Xavier Bishop. Kicks over to the corner. Amit Adamu driving baseline. Three seconds, one second, lets it fly off the side of the rim, and it won't go. Rebound inside for Southern Utah, and they've got a shot to take their first lead of this game since very early on in the first half. Here's John Knight. Nope, he'll pass it over to Murin, who's hit back-to-back three-pointers. Murin trying to get real hot, and it won't go. Thank goodness, off the side of the rim that time. It's off, and trying to get the trifecta three times down and three threes. Will not go. The Bobcats by one, 41-40 with the basketball, and 10-48 to go in the second half. Bellow, free throw line, dribbling over to the left. Now Bellow, one hand. He's through. 43-40, Bobcats back in front by three. That was big, and I can get this crowd into it a little bit more so, too, that had kind of gone quiet on an 8-0 run for Southern Utah. Here's the feed over to the left. Muir and Daft just halfway through it. Yeah, and that's, you know, they're a good team. They're defending Big Sky champs. You you got to beat the champs to, to get to become the champs, and that's what the Bobcats are doing here. But Montana State a chance to respond. They got the dunk last time by Bello, and now trying to see if they can make a little run of their own. Here's great Asabar. Asabar will spin over to the right and travel. Took an extra step that time to the freshman, and will go back the other way. Another turnover coming the way of the Bobcats. They're 12. Southern Utah now with the basketball. Ten minutes halfway through this second half in a one-possession ball game. Number one versus number two in the Big Sky Conference. The Bobcats with a shot for the first time in 20 years. Offensive foul against John Knight to get a share of the Big Sky Conference championship with a win here today. John Knight gets his first. The team gets their fourth. That's a really good call by the baseline official, Chris Rastatter, there. It looked like he just made a really quick move, but he clearly used his off arm to grab the thigh of Raekwon Battle and give himself an edge to get to the rim. Feed over to the top now to Great Asabar, over to the far side now, it's down over to Jubriel Bello. Bello, back this way over to that right block, continuing back in his way into the center of the lane, spins left back over to the right, shot up, no good. Too hard off glass on top and a rebound for Southern Utah. Down three, Southern Utah with the basketball line. 25 to go into second half. Here's John Knight spinning, turning, and laying it off glass. It's a one-point game yet again. 43-42, Southern Utah. Four for their last five right now with the Bobcats with a one-point lead. Right by as many as 13 this half. 9.08 left to go into second half. Here's Raekwon battle with the right wing with the basketball. He'll feed it inside to Bello. Bobcats trying to go to their big man. Here's Bello into the center, spins left, now fakes it back over to the right. Too hard off glass again. Real Bello with nine points today, going along with his six rebounds. Here's Moody back over to the top. Southern Utah is without their leading scorer, Jones. He got injured in the first half with the wrist injury and has not come back into the game. Green Asabar that time. Knocked it out. Coach Todd Simon wanted a wanted a hit on the wrist, but not going to be the case. The officials say clean. Xavier Bishop over to the left wing. Dribbling back and forth. Driving inside. Lays it off glass. Go! And the leading score for the Popcats is up to 14. And right there, your point guard says, hey, we need a bucket. I'm going to go manufacture points for my team. Left wing three on the way. Won't go for Knight. Fighting for his own rebound, and he knocked it out of bounds. John Knight threw up the three and couldn't get it. Raekwon Battle will 
or no, Green Asimov will check out. Amadou Damu will check in. So the Bobcats back to that typical lineup now, a little bit smaller. This is more a guard lineup that they've got. Yeah, you basically are putting Gazelas or Raekwon Battle, call it who you want, at the four spot. But the Bobcats with four guards on the floor. Here's the floater. Bishop, he's taking it over here in the second half. He's got 16, and the Bobcats back in front by five. Here's Murin, left wing, looking to run, hurry and stop this run. Into the center of the lane, trying to block. It's Raekwon back into the hands of the little Murin. You're over to the top now. Is uh, This is Butler. Butler down on the team of the conference right now, the reigning champs. Southern Utah onto the free throw line. We're going to 15, Harrison Butler. Butler's free throws up too hard. Off the mark. Big miss that time. As Southern Utah is just five of eight for the free throw line. Good Stanley Sprinkle said, let's hear it. We need it loud. Second one up. That one's good. That pulls it back within four. Two possession ball game now as Xavier Bishop will be guarded a little bit that time by Nick Fleming bringing the basketball down. There's Xavier Bishop driving over to the right side. Now over to Amadadamu with the top, the kick over to Nick Gazelis. Gazelis over to Bello. Now Bello off to Raekwon Battle. Raekwon, free throw line, jumper up. Will not go. Wow, what a rebound by Bello. He had three guys all around him. Down to the baseline, his feet to Nick Gazelis, and around the timeline. What a big time move by the big fella inside. Bishop sees the open lane, attacks, count it! And another! Xavier Bishop is putting this team on his back right now. Bishop scored eight in the second half. He's got six straight for Montana State and six of the last seven points scored in the game for either team. Like you said, he has put Montana State on his back, and it's his penetration. Southern Utah hasn't been able to keep him out of the lane all night, and he's finding ways to finish around the rim. Bishop at the free throw line, and this one's up good. Counted as a three-point play. Back in front by seven to the Bobcats with 7.07. Left to go in the second half here now from Bozema. Here's John Knight trying to get hot yet again. Knight leads his team with 12. The two point guards put on a show on either side. Down over to the baseline to cut. Butler now goes up, draws the foul. He'll go to the free throw line again where he's one for two today. And this one coming against Raekwon, who now has four. He's got four, and the team's got six. Hey, he's got four of the team's ten total fouls in this entire game. Him and Abdul's going to check in. They've got seven of the ten. Seventy percent coming from those two. And the free throw line. Free throws up. Good. Right through that time for Harrison Butler. Now 7 of 10 for the free throw line is Southern Utah, 70%. But the Bobcats, 9 of 10 for the free throw line, 90%. Abdul's in. Raekwon battles out with those four fouls. 6.55 remaining in the second half and a six-point lead right now for the Montana State Bobcats. Free throws up, good. That time for Butler to pull this within five. And Xavier Bishop coming down the court now. He'll cross half court. Xavier gives it over to Jabril Bella. Bella with the free throw line. Looks like he wants the shot. Jab steps over to the right. Now gives it off. Cut over to the baseline. Here's Hamid Adamu down to the block. Turning to the left. Now back over to the right. Off glass. No good. Rebound inside. Knocked out of the hands. And he wanted a foul to Bella, but instead it will be knocked into the hands of Harrison Butler. Who brings the ball down for Southern Utah. Southern Utah. Butler back in his way over to the right block. Turns left. Spins back over to the right. Butler goes up. Lays it in. From the back of the rim that time, and it's back to a one possession game. 50 to 47. Bobcats up three. 6.15 to go in the second half. Boy, what a ball game tonight. Fantastic game. Both ways, both teams playing at a high level, as you would expect from two of the best teams in the conference. See if the Bobcats can't get off Dual Muhammad going. He's got the basketball now. Four points for him, and this one's going to be cleared out of bounds. It was last touched by Southern Utah, though, as it came bouncing over by us, and it will stay with the Montana State Bobcats. 10 seconds on that shot clock. Six minutes left to go in the second half. It's going to have to be rather quick. Abdul will give it off to Xavier now. Down to seven seconds. He'll get a high screen from Bello. Here's a left wing three for Xavier Bishop. Oh, wow! He can't be stopped in the second half. He's on to 20. Here's Butler now. Quickly with the answer. Blocked! Knocked out and back with the Bobcats. Montana State might have been fortunate there. It looked like, 
like Harrison got bumped by a couple different guys, but no call, and then off Butler's uh, fingertips, and Montana State retains possession now, up six, five and a half to play. 53-47, Bobcats with the basketball. Xavier Bishop with that screen, up top, kick to Abdul Muhammad, Abdul for three. It's right in, in Boozman. Back up by nine. Wow. Here's Knight. Trying to silence him. Into the paint. Fakes left. Back over to the right. Jumper around the rim. No good. Bellow clears it. And the Bobcats slow it down. Five minutes left to go with his second half. 56-47. Coach Todd Simon is beside himself. He is letting the officials hear it. He's still not happy about that no call on the other side. This one knocked out of the hands of Xavier Bishop, and it will stay with the Bobcats. 450 left to go in the second half. Bobcats have been working it deep into the shot clock. This is their third possession out of four where they've gotten under 15 seconds. Time is their ally, up nine, under five to play. Looking for an inbound. Who will inbound it? Tom and Adamu. A 6-0 run in a minute, two after a couple of big three-pointers. Here's Nick Gazelas driving into the lane, lets one fly, and a blocking foul will send Nick Gazelas to the free-throw line. It's a good drive by Gazelas right there. He used a little tiny shot fake to get the defender up in the air, gave himself a lane. He was, I think, looking to pass as he drove in there, but the defense stayed with Jabril Bello. Makes sense they would do that, and he has an opportunity to add to the Bobcat lead. A free throw will not go for Nick Gazelis. Trying to put it back to a full 10-point lead. It'll be Nick Gazelis at the free throw line and extend his 6-0 scoring lead right now. Here's the free throw. Up, no good. He missed both that time. Southern Utah now with the basketball. Down by nine. 4.35 left to go with his second half. Here's the drive down to the baseline, down the cut, shot up, no good. Off the side of the rim, back time on the rebound, coming each side for Bellow. Bobcats with the basketball, Cochiani Sprinkle saying, hey, let's slow it down a little bit. Bobcats could take this down to about four minutes with that shot clock at 18 now. 56-47, up by nine. Abdul Muhammad to the right wing with the basketball. Feeds it down over to Abba Adamu, down to the right block. Dribbling to the center of the lane, spins left, back over to the right, shot up, third, good. 11 point lead for Montana State, 58 47, with four minutes left to go in the second half. Nick Moody coming off the screen at the free throw line. A kick over to Murin. Murin's dangerous. He's hit some threes. No shot. A whistle coming on the ground. We'll go Trey Murin. Free throw is good. First part of the one on one bonus. Bobcats with 17 fouls, 16 fouls coming against Southern Utah. Trying to cut it to nine, a three possession ball game with 3.50 to go in the second half. And you don't feel comfortable as they do cut it to nine if you're Coach Nanny Sprinkle until that final horn sounds as quickly as Southern Utah can score. Full court pressure coming out of Southern Utah, full court man to man, and now they'll get it over to Gazelis now, Abdul Muhammad. Abdul will push it up over to Xavier Bishop. The Bobcats take it past half court. Bishop at the top gives it to Abdul Muhammad. Abdul Muhammad to the left wing, dribbling inside, backs his way out, gives it over to Xavier Bishop at the top now. Xavier Bishop over to the far side, Damu to Damu. Adamu, five seconds to shoot. Here right wing, Nick will shoot, and it won't go. Off the side of the rim, fighting for the rebound, and saving it. Out of bounds. It stays with the Bobcats. What a nice play by Nick Gazelis to not give up on the shot. Now the officials are talking right down the side. They're trying to get uh, it all situated here. 18 seconds on that shot clock. 3.17 left to go in the second half. And the Bobcats with a nine-point lead. Montana State Bobcat basketball. All right. Nick Gazelis will take it out right in front of his own bench. Impounding over to the top to Abdul Muhammad. Here's Xavier Bishop, right at half court. 
Down to 10 seconds to shoot. Gets the screen from Bella, driving over to the right side, lets it go. He's hammered, and he will go to the free throw line. Foul coming against Southern Utah's number four that time, Dre Murin, who picks up his third, the team seventh. So the Bobcats and the Thunderbirds both in the bonus. And again, just veteran play. You get a defender who's trailing you, he's got to make up ground. You lean into him, draw the contact before you release the shot. Now you got the foul in hand, you try and finish. Bishop just continues to show his veteran presence as a point guard. And that pulls it back to a 10-point lead for the Bobcats. Yes, Southern Utah went on that run. Now hasn't hit a field goal in the last three minutes and 16 seconds. They've struggled to get points last couple of times down. Gone to the free throw line a couple of times. Just one for their last seven. That second one's good, and that puts it to 11 with 3.05 to go in the second half now. Here's John Nye to the right wing. Gives it over to the far side to Murin. Aaron now driving, will throw up a right wing three, up no good, off the back of the rim that time, and an offensive rebound. Aaron looked like he wanted the shot again, will drive down to the baseline, knocked out of his hands, and knocked into the hands of the Bobcats. Montana State now with a basketball. Here's Xavier Bishop. <laughs> Xavier Bishop over in the backcourt now trying to get the basketball, and they wouldn't give him the timeout. Aaron now has got it blocked. It's blocked, but into the hands of Southern Utah. Southern Utah now will go over to the far side corner and back over to the top. They clear it. The feed up over to the baseline. This one's knocked out of there. Abdul Muhammad with the basketball. Montana State, what a crazy last couple of seconds. And this one knocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Bobcats. My goodness. This ball up and down and back and forth. That ball has been everywhere in the last minute and a half now. Crazy it, sequence wow. as Abdul Muhammad runs into a cameraman. He was helping He's him. helping him up. <laughs> Southern Utah throws on the oh. trap, forces a turnover, but then <laughs> Adamu oh, with an unbelievable block. Abdul, you, I know you're a stand-up guy, but you don't got to help him up with the game still going on. 2.05 left to go. Well, the Bobcats can take it under two minutes. Here's Xavier Bishop dribbling at the top. Ten seconds to shoot. Two minutes on the clock. Up by 11. Xavier Bishop at the top gets the screen from Bello. Driving inside now, draws contact, goes up, and goes. These could just about do it. If he's able to get both of these, Bobcats are sitting really pretty as that free throw is up and good. 61-49, a 12-point lead right now for the Bobcats. Talk about never wavering. Up by 13, you could get yourself in a bad spot. It's all of a sudden a tie ball game, but the Bobcats didn't waver, continued along. That free throw is good, and it's a 13-point lead for the Montana State Bobcats. A minute 50 remaining in the ball game. Southern Utah knows they need to score in a hurry. Here in the left wing with the basketball is Fawcett. Fawcett with the left wing three. No good. Off the side of the rim that time, and an offensive rebound coming from Marin. Marin from the elbow. Jumpers up and good that time, and it pulls it within 11. Full court pressures, they'll kick it over to Abba Adamu. Adamu down to the corner, will push it up to Nick Gazelas. Gazelas pushes it over to Xavier Bishop, and Bishop will be fouled. That foul, though, not someone they want following. Fouling. Trey Marin. And in the second half, Xavier Bishop's got 16 of the 31 Bobcat points. Wow. More than half, he's got a chance to add to that. That is how impactful and dominant he has been here in clutch time. Marin's got four, and the team now has nine. Xavier Bishop at the free throw line. It's up and good. 63-51. Kellen Times will check into the ball game down for the Bobcats. Nick Gazalis will check out. Adds a little defense, just Kellen. Bobcats with a shot to be able to go back up by 13 here. Free throw is good. 64-51. 13 point lead with a minute 27 left to go in the second half. Marin pass half court. Knows they got a score in a hurry. Here's Moody. Right wing three thrown up. No good. Too hard that time. Kellen Times with a rebound and a foul coming from John Knight, who will pick up his third. That's the team's 10th, so that will go ahead and shoot two for Montana State from here on out. With a minute 17 left to go in the second half. So Kellen Times going to the free throw line. Kellen could get himself on the uh, old stat sheet right here. This one's up. Too hard, no good. Back of the rim and it won't go. Trying to 
trying to go up by 14. And the Bobcats do. 65-51 in front. Full court pressure coming out of the Bobcats. John Keller Tons will back off a little bit. Urine pass half court with a minute 13 to go in this second half. Urine driving over to the left. They definitely want to get it to Moody. Moody fakes the shot, gets it over to Fawcett. Now Knight. Here's Knight down to the corner, driving in. Back over to Moody. Moody with the left wing three. Thrown up, side of the rim, and it won't go. Rebound coming inside for Xavier Bishop. And now you're on a Tuesday night in Bozeman, Montana. All right, Tyler Patterson will take the ball out down to the sideline. Bobcat basketball. Nick Gazelis now with the ball. Gets it over to Jabril Bello. Bello now the right wing, and they'll follow him. Bello will get a chance to go to the free throw line. Now his glasses got hit around and everything. They follow him. They follow him hard, all right. 52.8 seconds remain in the ball game. Coach Stanley Sprinkle looking to do and bring success. He's already brought success that this program hasn't seen in a long time, but get them over the hump, get them to a championship culture. And talking about that championship culture, and, you know, they, there's so many, so few teams that get to play for a championship, get to be a part of a championship season. From the free throw line, Bellow's free throw is up, and it is good. And the Bobcats go up by 15, as Nick Gazelis will check out. I'm doing Muhammad and Kellen times go in, but that's all the mindset and everything. I mean, there, there's very few people that ever win a championship, coach, and this with 300 and some college basketball teams in a season, and the Bobcats have had a heck of a run this year. Yeah, and it, it is hard to win a championship. You can have great teams, but it doesn't mean you'll win a championship. You still got to execute, get it done. And Montana State looks like they're going to, at uh -huh. worst, share a part of the Big Sky title here in 2022. With two games left. They could take sole possession with one of those wins. This shot up will not go. The fight for the rebound down to the ground. Southern Utah will get it. They'll lay it up and in. Now Abdul Muhammad will get it over to Kellen Times. Times back over into the corner to Xavier Bishop driving down to the baseline. He'll get it to Abdul Muhammad. Got to get a pass half court. The Bobcats do. Here's Ahmed Adamu. Slowing it down here a little bit. And there's the whistle coming against Southern Utah. This one will be called on Harrison Butler, his third. Down by 16. And I think you can put this one in the win column. <laughs> Montana State will pick up their 22nd win of the season, which ties a program high. There's just so much good that has happened for this ball club this year, and it's a credit in a large part to these seniors and what they've been able to accomplish, but just a veteran ball club that's, that's played well throughout, and tonight defensively holds Southern Utah to 53 points. It's tremendous. Free throw is good. 16-point lead, Southern Utah coming down right now. 69-53. Bobcats in front. Right wing three on the way from Murray. Off the side of the mark and will not go. Shot clock off. Abdul Muhammad gets it, feeds it up to Xavier Bishop into the front court. And the Montana State Bobcats are cutting down the nets for the first time in 20 years. A championship in Bozeman. What a season. The Bobcats.